Welcome back everybody. It's great to see you again. I know it's been a long time since we've done one of these how to give you some practical advice videos for leadership in your business. But we're back. We're going to do some more of these. I hope you like these. I hope you like the interviews we're doing. We're going to have all those mixed in. I don't know how often we're going to do one of these videos, but we're going to try to get back to doing them weekly. I'm going to try to start doing some Q and A's as well so you can ask us some questions. But today, our first topic coming back after a long hiatus from doing these kinds of videos is we're going to answer the question, what's holding back my business? I think every business owner has been there. I think every business owner has felt something's holding me back. What's holding back my business? I'm not making as much money as I want. I'm not making as much money or I'm not growing. I don't have as many clients or I don't, I'm not growing as fast as I should be. What's going on? What's holding back my business? And so what this all comes down to is we get wrapped up in where we think we're supposed to be. I was talking with someone about this a couple of weeks ago. And the first part of the advice here today, and this isn't the practical stuff, we're going to get to that, is don't worry about where you're supposed to be. Don't worry about other people's businesses. Don't worry about uh, what you see on Instagram with people with the Lamborghinis and the trips and the, the selfies with famous people at conferences. If you feel like you're, something's holding back your business, we need to focus on much more short-term things. We need to focus on where we can put your time and energy to get your business to where you think it needs to be, not where, not what your idea of what, of what other people think it's supposed to be is. So that's the first part of the advice. I know you've probably heard the don't compare yourself to other people advice over and over and over again. And so we're gonna step into some practical tips of where you can spend your time and energy instead of worrying about and comparing yourself to other people. Here's some tips you can use, some actions you can take to spend that time and energy on something that's productive. And the first thing is define success for you and your business. Not Lamborghinis, not Instagram selfies, not what is it for your, what makes your business successful in your mind? And that's a really hard thing to do because we have a lot of input, we have a lot of pressure on us. If you're struggling with that question, what does success mean to me? I would start with in the very short term as we try to get these actions going to get your business rolling, what is that bare minimum and let's talk about it in terms of revenue coming in the door into your business. What's that bare minimum of revenue I need for this to be worthwhile to me to keep doing this? Once you can answer that question, then we can move on to the rest of it. And again, revenue's not, revenue's not the answer for everybody. Sometimes it's, I wanna be the boss and I wanna have a few people working for me so that I don't have to do all the work. And that's great, that's okay too. But again, that's probably gonna translate into an amount of revenue to come in the door because you need to pay the people who are gonna be working for you. So first define what success means to you. And let's start with what's that bare minimum I need to keep myself interested in doing this business before I go get a nine to five job. Number two, after you've defined what that success, whether it's a number or something else means to you, we need to set some goals, some short-term goals that we're gonna work on every day. We're gonna take the time and put in the energy every day to work on those goals. And this requires some honest talk and self-assessment, some self-reflection on how things are going with your business. There may be a lot of reasons that your business is being held back. It may be that your product or service isn't really clearly defined and that the people you're talking to don't understand it. It may be that you're not talking to the right people at all, that there are people who are out there who would love your product or service, but you're not talking to the right people. And so we need to set some goals of, if it's to get your product defined, and Actually, in both of these cases, and there's a lot of cases, but let's talk about these two. In both of these cases, the answer is the same is you've got to get out, you've got to show it to a lot of people, you've got to get their feedback, you've got to talk to a lot of people. And so let's follow through on that. Let's try to create some goals, right? What are some of the ways we're reaching out to talk to people? How are we talking to people? Are we doing that through networking? Are we doing that through Facebook advertising? Are we doing that through print advertising? What are our marketing channels? How are we how are we putting ourselves out to the world and how are we getting information back from them? And so let's just follow through on the, on the building our audience case or finding our audience case. What are we doing? What do we do every day to build our audience? Are you cold calling? Are you reaching out via social media platforms to people who might be your audience? What is it you're doing? Set a goal. I'm gonna reach out to five new people every day. I'm gonna find five new people on LinkedIn. If you're doing business to business, I'm gonna find five new people on LinkedIn and I'm gonna reach out to them with an email saying, I've got this product or service. I'd love to learn more about you. I'd love to see how we could help each other. 
but it's very important. You've got to set those goals. And I know I didn't do a good job making these really clear, but in the Q and A, we can talk about this. Or if you have a question, we can help you work through setting a specific goal for you. Third, once you've got your goals set, and you've heard me say this in just about every goals video we've ever talked about here, you've got to follow through and track them, right? Did I get up this morning and did I spend my time and energy reaching out to five new people? Check, 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 that's five. And then track how many of them responded and then track how many of them set up a meeting after that. And so now you're starting to build what's called a sales funnel. I'm sure you hear about all that on the internet. I'm not gonna do that, but you've gotta do what works for you. You gotta put your time and energy into making those goals, following through on those goals and tracking those goals to see what's working. And the reason you need to track those and see what's working is because you got to get rid of what's not working. If you're doing print advertising, if you're putting flyers on cars outside of your gym and nobody's coming back and nobody's reaching back out to you on that, it might be time to let that go. But what might be worth doing is going to a place where a lot of who you think your target audience is and just talking to them, explaining your product to them, not trying to make a sale, but getting their feedback on your product or service, seeing if they'd be interested in it, seeing if they know anybody be interested in that and follow through on it. So just recapping, first, don't worry about where you're supposed to be, worry about where you are, and define success for you. Figure out what that, what's, what's enough to keep you interested in this day after day. If the answer is nothing, it might be time to pack it up, but I'm sure there's something in your business that keeps you interested every day. So what's enough to keep me interested in this every day? Two, set some honest goals, some real honest goals based on the state of your business right now. Is it I don't have enough revenue coming in, I don't have enough clients, I don't have enough repeat clients, whatever it is, set goals that reflect the most important things you need to do about your business. If it's, if it's just bringing in revenue, just selling product, set a goal to get out and sell as much as you possibly can. Reach out and connect with as many people as you possibly can. In that case, we talked about uh, earlier in the video. Follow through and track, that's the next piece follow through and track. That'll help you decide what's working and what's not working because once you know what's working and what's not working, once you know who's enthusiastic about your product and who's not, you can double down on those things, spend more time with those people, spend more time doing those activities, putting in your time and energy where it makes sense to you to hit your definition of success and that'll help you grow your business and you won't be asking what's holding you back. You'll be saying, what do I, you know, how do I get some more people in here to help me because we're going so fast. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share. Please subscribe. That'd be great. It helps the channel out a lot. You can find us on social media, Evil Genius Leadership. Search for us on social media. Search for us on Google. It all helps, so please check us out. If you have questions, throw them in the comments. I am going to try to do a Q&A on this. I don't know when this video is going up. I don't know when I'm going to do the Q&A, but when the video goes up, I'll decide when I'm going to do the Q&A, and I'll put it in the in the comments uh, so you know when the Q&A is. If you've got specific questions, but if you've got specific questions, we're happy to help you out. Don't wait for the Q&A. Put something in the comments, reach out to us, email us, hit us up on social media. We love to hear from you. It's great to be back. Gonna try to do a lot more of these videos. I'm Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. The future is out there. Lead the way.